Now today, that ass is up. There's no more giving you love. Run out of Africa. Run out of Run out of America. Run out of America. Run out of America. Run out of America. Run out of We're not judging you, we're ready. What have we seen that he said? Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? What's up, bro? How you doing? What's your name? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that right. There you go. There you go. How you doing? You alright? What's your name? Robert? Hey, Robert. Uh, have you ever heard of it? You're not according to the Bible? Have you ever heard that you was an Israelite according to the Bible? Yes, I have. You've heard? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Heard, um, as far as like, Right. All right, so let me let me ask you something. What next? So so what next? Because you you heard that you came from the tribe of Judah. You heard that the, 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 this history re relates and correlates to our people. So what next? What's the next thing that we do? Get out. Get out. Deuteronomy chapter ten verse twelve. Bring it out. Now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something. So now you gotta understand, now you gotta bring yourself to the understanding of what does God require from you. He wants something from you. Right. But to fear the Lord thy God, really? to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So you gotta serve the Lord thy God with all your heart and with all your soul. Really? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep to keep no uh, it's more than just ten. Hold on, Robert, we're gonna, we're gonna touch on that real quick. I mean, well, right, no, no, I hear you going off of what, 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 you, what you learned. So that, and that, and that's why we're out here to teach our people. We're here to teach you, Robert. We love our people. That's why we're out here, bro. That's so right. Understand something. Now we're going to get fear real quick. Psalms uh, um, 111 and 120. Because, uh, one thing you got to understand because it says to fear the Lord thy God. So you got to understand how to fear God. Right. You got to understand what fear means. Right. Psalms right. so, chapter 111, verse 10. Read up. Fear of the. 119. 119, 120. Psalm chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. The psalm says, My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. King David, read. And I am afraid of thy judgment. And ye, we are afraid of his judgment. Because if you're not keeping God's law, judgment is going to fall upon you. Right. So now you got to understand something. Because you know you're going to try to he requires that you follow his commandments. Right. So, you know, so, let me ask you Do you love God? You try to do what? You try to give him your time. Like that. So, so, in other words, you love him, but you're trying to do your You're seeking for him. You're searching for him. All right, give me all uh, first John. First John chapter 5. Verse Bring it up. John chapter 5, verse 3. Because Bring it up. If you love God, there is a certain thing you got to do. We can't call God on the phone and say, hey, God, I love you today. You can't write him a postcard. You can't give him a hug. So there's a certain thing you got to do to show him that you love him. Right. right. For up. this is the love of God. So this is how you show God you love him. Read. That we keep his commandments. That you keep his commandments. So to show God you love him, you got to keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. They're not hard and they're, they're not, they're, they're, they're not a, a, a bad thing to keep. They're not difficult to keep. Right. It'll be something easy for you to do. Right. So now let's get into some more. Come on, Bill, bro. Come closer, bro. It's not, it's not every, it's not every time I speak, you can kind of like back it off a little bit. Bro. Hey, bro. Uh, uh, uh. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into some more because you said ten Hello? commandments. It's much more than ten commandments. Right. right. We're gonna, right. we're gonna get one law and then we're gonna get something that's going on. Um, uh, give me Leviticus twenty-one to five. And bro, let me ask you something. What is, what's going on? What, what's the holidays that's going on? Right. What, what's going on? 
Okay, so all of those that you just named, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter, are all of those biblical? You don't think Christmas is? So you don't think Christmas is biblical? What about Easter? Those are biblical? Matthew chapter 26, verse 17. Come through. Hey, y'all boys, come over here and learn about your history real quick. We know. All right, you know, so what you going to do about it? Read that. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Read. The disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, the master said, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house. You will keep what? I will keep the Passover. I will keep, Easter. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. So Christ follows the Passover. There is there, there. Show me in the Bible where Christ followed Easter. You won't find it. You won't find where Christ followed uh, 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 Thanksgiving. Right. You won't find where Christ followed Christmas. Right. Right. These holidays are pagan. That's right. right. All of them. Not Bring it out. None of them in the scriptures are going to tell you how to keep God's laws. Right. And right. none of them are, or, or, are ordained from God. That's right. right. They're all ordained of man. Right. Colossians 2 and 8 real quick. Bring it out. Because one thing you got to understand, Robert. Since we've been here for over 400 years in America, we've been lied to. Right. The truth has never come out. Right. I, do, do you like being lied to? You don't, you don't like being lied to, right? So now we're going to bring some truth out to you. The lie to you. chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man. Beware, what does that mean? What is the word beware mean? To be aware, okay. In this context, it's saying, it's giving you a warning. Watch out. Right. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So it's so God is giving you a warning. He's saying, watch out, lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Philosophy. Uh, 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 Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. These are philosophy. Right. Read. And vain deceit. They don't mean nothing. They don't mean the spit that's on, on the floor. They right. Mean nothing. Read. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of men. Because you can't find Christmas to celebrate Christmas in the Bible. Right. You can't find to celebrate Easter or Thanksgiving in the Bible. Right. Never commanded us to. That's right. right. Really? After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world, because that's worldly customs. Right. These are worldly things. That's why we gotta study to show ourselves approved. That way we may go out and teach our brothers and our sisters. Right. That's why, Robert, you gotta repent. Come back on come come back to your nationality and your heritage on this side to wake up your brothers and sisters that are still lost. Right. 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 And not after Christ. And not after Christ. Because what we just read, Christ followed Passover. He didn't follow, he didn't follow all uh, uh, Easter. That's not, that's not in the Bible. He didn't follow Christmas. He didn't follow Thanksgiving. Right. right. These are things that he did not follow. That's right. He came, Christ came to teach us to keep God's laws. That's right. right. Now let's get some ordinances on Passover because that's what's coming up. So now we're going to get on, uh, give me Exodus chapter 12. Here. Exodus 12, let's start with Exodus. Exodus. This is Passover. This is what Christ followed. Right. Exodus chapter 12, verse 1. Bring it up. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Meaning this is the new year. This is the beginning of all the months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Hold that. You need to do the chapter 16, verse 16. No, 16 and 1, sorry. Because what, what you got to understand, the beginning, the, 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 the beginning of months unto you, unto the, uh, unto the whole year. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 1. Three. Observe the month of Abib. That's what the, the month of Abib means, year of corn. 
It's the beginning of the year. Right. Year of corn. That's when that's when spring and everything starts budding and everything is beautiful. Right. Right. That's the beginning of the year. Right. right. Now I go right. back to Exodus. So that that show, that show you that Passover it started on the, 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 the beginning of the year in springtime. Right. Read. Exodus chapter twelve, verse three. That's where they get the pagan the, the pagan uh, uh, no. holiday from the, to mass Passover to cover your eyes to keep you in the dark. Right. Read. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb. According to the house of their fathers. The ordinance is a Passover. This is what we're doing to, to, to keep Passover. Read. A lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto him. Not the household, every man of down to verse seven. Verse seven. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses. So this is basically what's going on right now. He's explaining exactly how to go into Passover because what happened to us in the land of Egypt was this was the one of the one of the plagues that the destroyer was gonna come and destroy uh, the Egyptians. So we had to put the blood on a post so that he would pass over our houses and not destroy us. Right. Hey, but bro, uh, one thing you gotta understand about Passover is, is, is one of is, is our heritage. That's, That's right. Something that we gotta keep. Right. 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 Bring it out. No. Bro, one, one thing you gotta understand is because because we have broken our, our God's laws, this is the reason why we ended up in this place today. Right. This is the reason why we don't remember who we are. Bring it up, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it up. Thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So Robert, even you won't discontinue from thine heritage. What is the word for To stop. Exactly. Your inheritance to stop. You will, you will stop remembering who you are, where you came from. All we remember is is, is, is uh, 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 slave ships. That's all we remember. What is slave ships? So this one. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from that heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So God will cause us to serve our enemies. Who will set us on the altar? Who will set us? Don't be scared. Okay, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? All the people were selling it? No, that, that right there is false. But let us hold this one for Hold that one. Hold this one. Hold this one. I'm going to show you something. Because what, what you got to understand is, all, okay, what you heard, give me uh, uh, Luke, all that real quick, uh, 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 70 AD. Luke 20, uh, 21, 22. When, what you got to understand, this is this is the sub saharan State Trade. This happened in the transatlantic slave trade. The sub-Saharan slave trade, we were sold uh, by the Africans in the Africans. They sold us to the white men. So what the, what the misconception is, what they're going to tell you is, oh, y'all sold each other. They want us to think we're Africans. Newsflash, so-called black man, you are not African. That's so, right. So that's why you got to ask yourself this question. If we are Africans, why did no, no one came over here to say, hey, you know what? Let our people go. Hey, right. you know what? Come back to Africa with us. Right. You know, we gotta understand. We we are not African, bro. That's right. Gotta, they sold us to the white man. Right. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. Bring and when ye shall see Jerusalem the past with army. So this is a prophecy that Christ was telling us. When, when we shall see Jerusalem come past, that means surrounded with army, with the Roman army, baby. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. Know that the destruction is near. We then let them which are in Judea flee let to them, the mountains. Let them which are in our in, in our land flee into the mountains. Where is the mountains? The mountains is what's supposed to happen. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. So what was going on right here? This is, this happened in 70 AD. 
we fled into the mountains. And we, uh, when we fled into the mountains, the Africans sold the Africans and the Arabs sold us to the white man. That's right. Gross. Thus birthed the transatlantic slave trade. Right. That's right. We didn't sell each other. I would, bro. Think about it. If you my brother, would you sell me to somebody? No, you wouldn't do. That's not natural. You wouldn't do it. Right. So in understanding that, we, we as a people came upon we fell upon curses because we broke God's law. How are we gonna get through it? Hold, hold him up for a little longer. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. What will happen? This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if we won't follow God's uh, words, this is his voice right here, his laws. To observe, to do. All his commandments. We have to observe, we have to watch to do all of God's laws. And his statutes, which yeah. I command thee this day. And I still got to touch on that because you said 10 commandments. We're going to touch on that a little further. So you got to watch to do all his commandments, which, which was commanded to us this day. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Robert, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's bad, right? Because it's the opposite of a curse. It's a blessing. If I said I bless you this day, that's a good thing. If I curse you, you're going to fight. You understand what I'm saying? So a curse is a bad thing. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So cursed shall we be in the city. Whatever, wherever you find. What city you live in right now, bro? What, what city is this? North Miami Beach. So are, are the blacks and uh, 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 the Hispanics, are they on top right now? Or are they, are they in the ghettos and the slums? Are they, are they cursed to have to wake up and uh, work nine to five? Have to pay their bills if they don't pay, their lights getting cut off. Water right. getting cut off. Right. So in understanding that, we're cursed in the city. All right. Right. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall we be in the field. When did this happen? Take a look at the signs. When did this happen? It happened in, in, in 1619. We were cursed in the field. We was cursed, cursed in the cotton field. Right. Cursed in the sugar cane field. Right. We had to do all these things in these fields, and we we was out before the sun came up, and we came in after the sun went down. Right. That's a curse, bro. Right. Read on uh, uh, verse forty-eight. Jump, jump the verse. As a matter of fact, get thirty-two. Let's prove that point. Verse thirty-two. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. You can see right here where they're killing our kids, where they're auctioning our children off. Our sons and our daughters shall be given to another people. That's a curse that we follow as a people. This, this, we have to understand this book belongs to us. That's this right. is our heritage. Right. This is where we come from. Right. This book don't belong to everybody. That's but right. Everybody don't fit these curses. No. Only we do. You no. understand? It's easy as one, two, three, A, B, C. You just connect the dots, Robert. So not took the uh, verse uh, 48. Verse 48. What's going on with that? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So our eyes won't fail and look for longing with, for longing with them all the day long. And what's going to happen? And there shall be no might in thine hand. So we ain't going to have no power in our hands. Not no economic power. No. We ain't going to have no power in our hands to do nothing about them taking our hands. Right. We cannot go and fight them with armies. We cannot go pay armies to go fight them. Right. We couldn't do nothing. So, have you ever seen 12 years of slavery? Django, Roots, anything like that? You never seen that? Well, brother, it's our time you watch some of that because that's our history. That's what happened to us. So we had no power to do nothing. We had no power to get our kids to, 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 to deliver them from the enemy. Because why? We broke God's laws and we fell on the curse. That's right. So now, uh, give me verse 48. Verse 48. Now we're going to come into this, to this real quick. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. The word therefore means because we broke God's laws, we're going to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh, who sent them against us? Which the Lord shall send against so thee. So we can't blame nobody else. We can't say, oh, it's their fault we're in this position. Our fault because remember Moses said that if we wouldn't follow God's laws, we would we would be put into the conditions that we are today. So in understanding that, the Lord sent the enemy against us because he chose us to fight. In hunger, when we hungry, and in thirst, and 
in nakedness. And in, in nakedness and? And in what? Of all things. Well, Robert, if you want anything, you got to serve your enemies. It's a curse that you got to wake up early in the morning to go work at 9 to 5 to buy you some food from the person that enslaved you and pay your bills to the person that enslaved you to go to school to learn the history from the person that enslaved you. That's a damn curse. Right. Yeah, bro, you got to understand, bro, we cursed. As, right. a, we, as a people, we fall into curses. Right. Because we, for the want of all things, we got to go to this. Right. We right. can't go. I can't go to Robert around the corner and say, hey, Robert, bro, hey, let me get uh, 50 gallons of water for uh, $20,000. Right. Yeah, I, I can't do that. I can't say, hey, let me get 100,000 100, shirts for all my brothers down the corner and your tags on the back going to say, made from Robert. Yeah. It's not going to say that. Right. It's going to say, made from Taiwan, made from China, made from any anywhere else but your people. Right. right, you understand? So this is one thing you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let it marinate in your mind because you have to wake up. Right. We out here to wake our people up. Right. We're under curses. You know, finish that off. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So he, it says he shall put a yoke of iron. No, continue. Until he have destroyed like this. And that's the second time it says he. Until he. So it says he shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he have destroyed us. Who is the he is talking about? Don't be scared. It's the white man. That's right. The white man has put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Take a look at the sign. The white man has sold our kids. The white man has destroyed us mentally. We have to go to the white man for water, shoes, clothes, food. Right. We got to, God calls him our enemy. That's right. right. We got to go to him in want of all things. Bring right? it out. And it's because we broke God's law. Right. So in understanding that, Robert, you got to understand as a people, we're mentally destroyed. So to get out of this mental estate that we're in, what do we have to do? Because we broke God's law, what's the opposite? You have to what? You have to be reborn. I like that. You use the air. I like that. You have to be reborn. Right. And how do you be reborn? Ah, oh, hold on. All right. Hold on. All right. We don't, we don't, we don't touch on that real quick. Finish, get, get, finish 68. Because get, get 68, finish that off, put the nail on the coffin, and then we're going to touch on, 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 on that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read, bring it on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Dude, Egypt right. again Dude, with right. ships. So we're going to be bought into Dude, Egypt right. again with ships. Do you know the history? About when, when, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. We shall be bought into Egypt again with ships. So the word Egypt means something in the Bible. When God, when God says, when he says that, when he says that, it means something. So when we were in Egypt, do you know the history? About when the, the Israelites were in Egypt? No, you don't. We built the pyramids, then we get paid for it. We didn't get paid for it, so what do you call it? I was going to say that, but I wasn't too sure. All right, hey, bro, you got, you got to understand, this is our history, and it happened to us. We built the pyramids. We didn't get paid for it. We were in slavery. Read, read, read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Read, read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Pay attention, Robert. Don't worry about what's going on back there. Pay attention. Right now, that's, that's the devil. Right? You got to understand, this is, we, we bringing out your history right here. Right in the Bible, you understand? They're not going to teach you this history. Nobody's going to teach you this, right? Right. So you got to pay attention, bro. Right. So understanding that, the, the, when, when when God is talking about Egypt, He's talking about us being uh, 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 in a condition, in a in bondage. Read it again. Exodus chapter twenty, verse two. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house. Of bondage. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So bondage is synonymous to slavery. Bro, it goes hand in hand. So now get, uh, get that 68. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring us into slavery again with ships. Are you? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The same way Moses said it was going to happen in verse 15. That's the same way it happened. Thou shalt see it no more again. We will never see our homeland no more again. Where are we from? 
worth up. Hold that. Yeah. Oh, because one thing, one thing you gotta understand is one thing you gotta understand is our homeland is not. It's not our You went for your daughter. It's what? It's Egypt. Galatians chapter four verse twenty six. No, but Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But where? But Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American man. Jerusalem. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. That's Jerusalem right. is the mother of us all. That's right. That's where we come from. Go back to the world. This is the, we will never see our homeland again. Remember in the beginning I was telling you if we were from Africa, why didn't the Africans say, hey, y'all free now. Come on. That's right. Why didn't they mount up armies and come against America? Bring to it out. Them, their, their people. We're not them. They know we're not them. Ask yourself that question. Throughout the 400, uh, 400 the years that we've been here in America, why nobody stood up for us? Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it on! And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Most High will bring us into Egypt again with ships. Who did that happen to? Oh, you, you, um, that, that was this sign, right? We will be going into captivity again with ships. Right. We were taken from the west coast of Africa. We were taken from the west coast of Africa and the ships went all around the world. Who did that happen to? That happened to us. Nobody can say, oh, this this, this is our history. Nobody on the face of the earth, not the white man, give me Daniel, Daniel 9 and 11. Not, not the white man, not the Chinese man, not the Arab, nobody, not the Japanese. East Indians, nobody can say we went into slavery on slave ships. Right. This is our history, bro. That's right. Uh, um, yeah, before you get down to 9 11, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Read and, and they shall be upon thee. So the day that it's talking about here is talking about the curses. The curses will be upon you, Robert. Read. For a sign. For a sign. What does a sign teach you? What does a sign show you? Well, I already told you, show, it, 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 it show you, it's a signifying mark, basically. And for a wonder, and for a wonder, whenever you wonder, damn, why my people on the bottom? Why are we always on the bottom, on, 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 on first, first five, last higher? Why we can't never progress as a people? Because the curses are gonna be upon us for a sign. And upon thy seed forever. And upon our seed forever. As long as we continue to have kids, as long as we continue to uh, appropriate, it will be a sign upon them forever until we as a people wake up. That's right. That's what we out here doing. And we're doing the work to wake right. up our people. Right. So in understanding that, this is one of the signs. That we get on the slave ship and that we be bought all across the world. Right. Nobody else been through that. Ask yourself these questions. Daniel, Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, no. hey, all Israel have transgressed thy law. All Israel, those 12 tribes right there, has transgressed God's laws. Right. Read. Even by the party that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon so, us. Robert, what we just read about the curse? We just read it. What we read about the curse? You got it. You got it. We just read it in the book. Moses was speaking to who? To the Israelites. In the book of Deuteronomy. So we just just reading about the curses in Deuteronomy. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. The law of Moses. That's what we just read about the curses. The servant of God. Because we have sinned against him. He have confirmed his words. He has confirmed it though. The words that were confirmed was that we was going to get on them ships. Right. That's what was confirmed. That we was going to have chains and yokes and iron for the part of that. Right. That's what was confirmed. That our kids will be given away to other people. We can't do a damn thing about it. That's what was confirmed. Which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Nobody went through what we went through under the whole heaven. How? What does the heaven, what, what does heaven cover? 
It covers everywhere. Nobody under the whole heaven has went through what we went through. We went through a great evil. Nobody on the face of the earth can say they've been on ships packed like sardines. Nobody can say they've been on, uh, 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 been in chains, auction blocks, uh, name chains, uh, language. Our whole heritage was taken from us. Right. Our whole heritage was taken from us. As a people, when, when you think about heritage, what comes to your mind? Family, okay. Culture, all right. What else? The God you serve, the language you speak. Where your man roots come from? Your livelihood. So this was taken from us. Hey, how you doing, bro? You wanna come check out your history real quick? Well, uh, whenever you got time, bro, check us out. Hey, bro, Robert, man, understand something, bro. Our main history, our history, well, our main roots was taken from us. Our language, everything. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And up. thou, even thyself, shall discontinue. You shall discontinue. Remember, we read this. You're going to discontinue read, from thine heritage. You're going to stop. From your, your heritage is going to stop. It's going to discontinue from what God's laws. Right. That I gave you. And I will cause thee to serve thine. So, to do what? To serve. To what? To serve. To what? To serve. To serve thine enemies. God said he's going to cause us to serve our enemies. Right. And I'm going to ask you again, Robert, how are we serving our enemies today? <laughs> Jobs? How else? We read it earlier. In the want of all things, not just jobs. Bro, if you want a driver's license, you gotta go to your enemy. Right. Bro, if you, if you want any, if you want education, if you wanna go learn about this book right here, you gotta go, go to your enemies. You understand? So understand something, Robert. The, the only way, you know what else? Good morning. Bring, bring it up, finish that off. In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, we shall burn forever. And because we kindle a fire in God's anger, we're going to burn forever until we as a people wake up. Until we wake up, that fire is going to be there. We're going to be in this captivity. We got to wake up as a people. Right. So now, uh, 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 let's get, uh, Leviticus real quick. Yeah, let's get some laws out. Leviticus chapter, uh, 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 uh,
This is where you go to, uh, to, to get all these things. Now we go to them to get all that. So now, uh, read that. And if the people of the land bring where or any victual on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them. No, 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 we would what? That we would not buy it of them. So read a couple, read a couple uh, 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 lines up where, on what day that happened. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals, when? Uh, any victuals on the Sabbath on day. On the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath, you got, you got six days to do all your work and do all your labor. Sabbath fell on the seventh day. And it says if anybody will bring any where or victuals on that seventh day that God made holy, what's going to happen? To sell that we would not. We would not. Read. Buy it of them. This is a commandment. Look, if you love God, what you going to do? We're going to keep his commandments. That's, right. That's right. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We would not go and we would not uh, 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 profane the Sabbath day uh, uh, and go buy and sell. We would not profane the Sabbath day and cook and clean and work. That's profaning God's holy, uh, uh, God's holy day. Give me John, uh, uh, John 15, 14. Bring it up. Because if we, if we, like I said, we can't call God and say, hey, God, today I love you, yo. We can't give God a hug, send him a postcard. John chapter 14, 14 verse 15. If he loves me. Wait, the word if is a two-letter word, but it holds great meaning, great value. It said, if. If you love him, read. Keep my commandments. You what? Keep my commandments. So if you love God, Robert, you gotta keep his commandments. That's right. If you love him, if you don't, you're gonna break them. Right. If you don't, you're gonna walk into that store and go buy and sell. That's right. right. So you gotta understand something, bro. Wherever you stand, what you gonna do right now? After you walk from right here, where you going? Where you going, bro? What you gonna do? Because you the law came out. You said you love God. What is it? What is it left? What you gonna do? Because I, the history came out. Right. We've been lied to for over 400 years about who who you were as a people, the God we serve, the language we speak. We've been lied to. So they're gonna show you, bro. It's something that you gotta do. You gotta be angry. That fire in you gotta be hot. Right. right. You gotta be mad. That damn. I hate being lied to. Right. John chapter eight verse 32. I hate being lied to. The truth is coming out to you now. What you gonna do? I'm waiting on you, uh, Jarkus. Guess what? At, 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 well, every word that come out your mouth right what now, from right here on in, from you hearing this history, bro, is being taken account for, bro. Read that. John chapter eight, verse thirty-two. You know. And ye shall know the truth. And you, you, Robert, is gonna know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall yeah, make yeah, you yeah. free. Nice. So you will hear well, this truth, out. and the truth shall make you free. Because when you're ready to do wrong, you're mentally destroyed as a people. Right. Mentally, we're destroyed. And this truth is the medicine to our people that's going to heal us. That's right. That's going to get us back right. 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 We got to keep God's laws, bro. It's either we repent or be destroyed in this in this in this place called Babylon. Right. Be destroyed in this place called America, bro. Right. right. You gotta understand what side you gonna stand on. You gonna stand on God's side or you gonna stand on, on the side of, of the sinners? G give me um uh, hey uh 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 give me give me the scripture uh what's the scripture? Uh stand up uh bring that up. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Because, Robert, one thing you're going to understand is you're not here for no reason. Right. right. There's a reason why you're standing here listening to God's word. That's Read right. your mind. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will rise up for the most high God? Bring it out. Against all these evildoers in this world. Right. Read. Or who will stand up for me? Against the workers of iniquity. Against the workers of sin. Who gonna stand up for God? Because on the Sabbath day, we see all the wickedness going on. Right. Yeah. That's why the sons of God stand out here to bring out God's word. Right. right. Because we will stand up boldly for his law. That's right. Because we love God. That's, That's right. right. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Robert, who gonna do it? If it's not us, who? 
Because the Chinese don't love us. Right. The whites don't love us. Right. Africa don't love us. Right. You got to understand who going to do it if it's not us. Right. God has made you a watchman. It's time that you repent. Come on the side. Go wake up your people. Right. It's time. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.